Okay, here we are, a little update on the metalworking bench. This here's the vise that I had made up. It's uh, some six inch channel. Uh, I can't remember the weight designation of it. And that'd be cinnamon talking in the background there, and it's our little dog there. Big old dog, actually. But uh, that there's some uh, six inch channel. I believe the weight designation on it was 2.7, but I don't recall. Um, it's welded up. Yeah, the jaws here along the top row there I've got a row of uh, let's see five holes on each jaw number half inch holes they're spaced two inches apart uh, then would let a guy put some different fixing um, maybe uh, put some pins in there to hold some odd shaped stuff that's, that's one inch pipe there uh, what that does it keeps that wing nut when you do well, run it up there it keeps that wing nut back away from these lips here. If you run that wing nut up in here, when you try to tighten it, it would slap against that channel iron. So, this piece of one inch pipe, schedule 40 pipe, that fits over that, uh, fits over them threaded rods pretty well. This vise here turns, turns in a horizontal plane, and it also turns in a vertical plane. So you can get just about any angle you need. Uh, one of the things that I uh, designed in is uh, these threaded rods. I believe they're 10 inches apart, one inch threaded rod. Uh, but what's nice is uh, if you get everything kind of in position, you can level these rods, lock everything in, and then when you're putting your pieces in, if you need to have them level, like when you're, maybe when you're doing some pipe work and have to line up some flanges and that, and you need things level for a reference, them rods will stay level and they'll get your workpiece at least pretty darn close to level and you can go from there. One thing that's nice about being able to turn that vise is if you turn it this way and line it up long ways with the table, you've got a pretty good extension for holding a long piece. Uh, a lot of times you get a 10, 12, whatever long, foot long piece you got in there and the end gets kind of squirrely. You put your piece in there and then down on the other end of that table, wherever you can uh, put a stand and uh, hold that end up for you and keep everything nice and level for you. And then you turn things here to line up, maybe if you're fixturing some angle stuff or something and have something clamped to that table, you can line this vise up. I wouldn't think uh, you'd get tons and tons of clamping pressure with this, but I think it'd be adequate. Uh, the attachment arrangement here, um, on this side I think the light might be a little better, is, uh, we talked about this before in the last video, but that's 2 inch schedule 40 with inch and a half pipe going through it with some clamp bolts. Uh, clamp bolts are nothing but a hole drilled through with a uh, I believe those are 5 eighths nuts weld in place and then, uh, and then a rod welded up is when you uh, loosen up this clamp bolt on the bottom here Let's see that uh, if you can with the light but when you loosen up that clamp bolt is these attachments come down at about the speed of light and uh, if your hands in there it's gonna it's gonna hurt and uh, yeah, for me, it's going to make me say bad words, and anything we can do to avoid keep me from saying bad words is probably a good thing. So what I done there was uh, I added a, a shaft collar, uh, inch and five sixteen shaft collar around that piece of inch and a half pipe. And what that does when you loosen up that clamp bolt, that thing ain't going to come down and smack you. Um, and uh, it also holds your elevator table here. We got the same kind of a same kind of attachment arrangement. Uh, just another pipe welded through. And uh, another, probably in another video we'll talk a little bit, uh, I put a row of 7 8 inch diameter through holes in these rails and uh, just for some clamping and, and stuff like that. But, so I get in and out a little later on a video, I'm getting kind of low on battery here, it kind of eats batteries so if anybody's got any suggestion on batteries I'd appreciate that.